name's Chris, and uh, that's Buddy. I'm Buddy. I play trombone. I play the guitar. I figured he probably wanted that kind of information. Try too. to sing. <laughs> Things really haven't changed. You know, we're still out doing, doing well, our own thing. Go ahead. I mean, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, that could, you could we could talk for an hour on that question. <laughs> Be a little more specific, I guess. We, uh, I guess we two are more now. Nothing, that's about it. Yeah, nothing's really changed. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of uh, as a band, we've gotten bigger as time goes along anyway, regardless of whether we're on a major label or not. That doesn't have anything to do with how we're doing now or, or how things have changed. But, like, our record is getting distributed like like wildfire. So, yeah. I, mean, I mean, that's that's the main reason we went to a major label anyway. So, uh, that I mean, it's, it's working out. Everything's working out pretty well so far. We haven't had very many problems at all with it. You just got to stay on top of, you know, what's going on. I mean, we worked a lot of things into our contract so that, so that you know, we could do things that we wanted to do. And, and that's pretty much... That's what it's like to be on a major label. It's called Losing Streak. It came out um, last November. It's been out about four months. Um, we recorded it last summer. It has 16 songs on it, two of which are, um, well, actually three, which are uh, old songs we recorded. And uh, I don't know. we like it. Yeah, Rock and Roll Pizzeria. Oh, okay. Everyone forgets that song. A long time ago, the, his band, uh, former band Skank and Pickle, played in Florida. And uh, a friend of mine had given them a demo tape of ours, and he liked it and contacted us about doing, at the time, a 7-inch, and then he decided that he wanted to do a full length with us and that's when we re recorded Pez for. As if seven inches isn't a full length. Vinny, our drummer, grew up with an English bulldog named Jake in his house. His, it was, I guess basically his it was the family dog but it was his parents loved the dog. And they'd go to like Red Lobster and the Sizzler or whatever and bring back you know doggy treats for real like for the dog while he was eating TV dinners and stuff in the, in the corner of the room. You know so basically everything in the house, I mean everything kind of ran like that in the house. The dog just got treated better than everyone so everything the dog was therefore less than Jake shit all over the place and they just they didn't care they, they loved the dog he could do no wrong and it's also a gangster term of in the 30s 20s whatever that is uh, Jake means like if it's up to par or cool like back then you would go man that's really Jake so if you're less than Jake then you're less than you are cool. less than that's us cool. Hello. Cheesy. we admit it now no reaction by anyone in the room <laughs> we don't claim to be punk <laughs> we don't claim to be reggae or ska we just kind of be hot. Um, myself, our bass player Roger, our drummer Vinny, and um, our baritone sax player Darren. We did the. We did a tour last fall. Uh, sort of. Well, about ten shows, eight, seven, seven or eight shows, whatever. And then uh, that was pretty much it. We haven't discussed anything uh, beyond beyond that. Howard J. Reynolds. Howard. God, damn Howard. It. Howard, Howard is our neighbor. He's 73 years old. He lives in our apartment complex in Gainesville, Florida. He hangs out with us. He parties. He rocks. He's fucking crazy as hell. He talks about crazy shit. He chases girls around the pool and pinches their ass. <laughs> he, uh, he's fucking nuts. <laughs> he's had triple bypass surgery three times in the last year. He smokes cigarettes like they go out of style. He just doesn't give a shit. Because well, he's not even just basically said a few words on our CD just because. So on the new one, he's on there too. He's also mentioned in lyrics in Jen. But <laughs> <laughs> that's a fax machine we just heard in that behind that closet there. If you're wondering in that's TV the land. secret room. Hey now. The gimp's locked in there. <laughs> no, in that closet. You need to open that lock and figure it out. Uh, different strokes, not different strokes. Uh, the Jeffersons, the I mean, Jeff. Dukes of Hazard. Um, just to do a bunch more. Laverne and Shirley. Did you say that? Already? Yeah, I said that. Our drummer, and we're not talking about that. Okay. I'm Actually, tired. We're tired of Pez. <laughs> we went to the <laughs> fucking no Pez. Went to the Pez Museum. We went to the Pez Museum in Berlin game today. Oh no. yeah. We, which we've already been to. Once. <laughs> Every time we stop at <laughs> we the fucking store, again. we look for Pez. There's a Pez convention <laughs> in the Bay Area this this week too. That yeah, that we're being forced to go to. So. That's hot. Us not being the Pez aficionados of the band and refuse to answer <laughs> that question. But Rod, Roger, Sean, and, and Vinny are the Pez yeah, collectors. Sean's our. Uh, they both. They all three have elaborate collections. Vinny having the. Sean's our merchandise slash roadie guy with a smelly finger. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, uh, Doug Hastings is a uh, old friend of our drummers, that uh, was just pretty yeah, much. Vinny up here for this interview. Yeah, pretty much uh, fucked up. Just you know, read the lyrics. He was. He had some problems and. Uh, I don't know, just re kind of recounts a particular night they were out just being kids, you know, tearing up the town, doing uh, crazy Vinny writes lyrics, that. but the band, we, we write the music. Vinny writes all the lyrics, though, and they're all like, pretty much everything is either a life experience of his or just like some sort of viewpoint he has on it that he puts down into. Most of it's just some sort of sarcastic, tongue-in-cheek, just fun. So you're you're the closest to your viral age. Yeah, you're eighteen. You're viral. Eighteen is you when you can you're fuck most like eight times males. a night. You know, no problems. It's like now we, you know, I basically come putting the rubber on now. You, know, so, you, know, you guys laugh. You know, it's true. You know, women women hit their sex peak like when they're thirty. You know, so women, you know, when they're like thirty, are like looking for eighteen year old guys to be banging all night. But 
we're over the hill, guys. It's sad. All we have to look forward to is like proctology exams and possibly social security if we're lucky. Hey, <laughs> jerks off feet. Now, do you have it's a smell hot. fetish as well, or is it just the, the sight of feet? Do you, do, you, do, you, do you suck toes? You can hang out with Roger. Let me tell you, you get some sense off of him. Some chicks <laughs> dig their, to their toes sucked, and some just hate it. Some girls just do not like even lucky. Yeah, I had a girl really ticklish feet one time. She just did not dig her, dig her feet being touched or manipulated in any way. It was kind of sad. The generally. That was just a it was very In simple. Warren, Pennsylvania, where Darren Newfer are... Uh, our uh, sax player, Barry Sax player lives. And it was right right around the house from, uh, oh, no like, right around the street from where he lives. And he's like, I, I swear to God, the General Lee's right around the corner. And we're like, yeah, whatever. We go around the corner, it's there. And it was, like, outside, parked out there. It was all shiny, just gotten washed or whatever. We're like, oh, my God, get out of the van. And we all took a picture of it. So it just happened to be there. That was it. Thing. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> I know a girl the other night. I was more, talking more. to her in San Diego. And she was in Jacksonville, Florida about a year ago at a party. And fucking, she saw Eddie Munster snorting coke at the party. Eddie Munster? Yeah. Now he's doing commercials for, uh, what so. was it? Little, little Caesar? Oh, what was it? You know, in San Diego, that was telling me, telling me the story. Did I eat her out? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Every, everyone I meet. This is, this is a common, que or a common question for I like Dan. this guy. Did I eat her out? <laughs> no, I didn't eat her out. You know, I've never eaten a girl on tour. Never. No, I've never, I've never, never done that. It's by choice, man. I just don't. You don't go. You he don't go he didn't bring. <laughs> he didn't bring his dental dam. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's real that's real, that's real romantic. That's I'm gonna lick your box now. Oh, hold on. <laughs> let, me get, let me get out the scissors. That feels good, huh? <laughs> you got the wetsuit. <laughs> no pun intended. Nah, no car. This has been the non-carpet munching tour. <laughs> been good boys and girls. Good girl. Uh, we won't go there, but just once, actually. Yes. Just You're once. lying. No. For real. He's the only one that's actually in but the But I band have graduated to jacking off anywhere. I'll, I've beat off in Walmart's, Targets, fucking Kmart's, <laughs> Amicos. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm staring. I'm staring at some fucking you know old guy's shit that just got out of the stall before me and just <laughs> <laughs> gotta come. The van's almost gassed up. Gotta come. You can't, <laughs> you can't work with goo. Nah, you can't. Yeah. Get back in, in the Rosen. next six hours are just a little more enjoyable. <laughs> so. it took a while you to admit to that. Down. You get to a point in your life where you're just like, yeah, put the cards on the table. So. <laughs> <laughs> quarter booths? No, I don't uh, don't partake in quarter booths. I went to one like place like that ever on tour, and that was in New Orleans one time. Went to a, I went to a titty bar. Well, I'm into metal, and, and, and metal guys are into titty bars, so by proxy, I'm into titty bars, so I, I may, have to, may have to check it out. We'll go together. Maybe All the PC score. people in San Francisco are going to love us now. <laughs> They're cock rock. <laughs> They're degrading. Thank I'm going to remind the viewers, and then you need to play this back. Our P.O. box is um, 12081 Gainesville, Florida, 32604, and it's not even for the viewers. It's for you guys to send me a copy of this interview we so will. I can like, keep it in my Definitely. vault of shit. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you.